Hi there, Anthony here from Alpha Marketer. So guys, I'm shooting this quick video because I came across something fascinating. Okay, so I've been advocating about this demand generation for e-commerce uh, for quite some time now and I'm seeing it happening right now. Okay, so uh, you know, uh, for the last couple of years, the playbook has been very, very common. Uh, most of the D2C e-commerce brands, they, they run ads on Facebook, Instagram, and Google. Uh, they advertise their products uh, and people see the ad click they come to the website they see a landing page with all the proof points and they buy right that was working and a lot of people copied it okay so when people when people started copying it uh, then it became cliche and uh, you know they don't getting uh, much results then the era of uh, influencer marketing started and now they started uh, you know having all these uh, ugc type content generated by influence now they are hiring influencers at mass scale and they are endorsing the product uh, which is not uh, a ad ad it, it doesn't look like an ad but uh, seems in, uh, fun and entertaining content okay so that is also seemed to work and people started buying uh, you know you know left right and center after seeing the influencer um, you know ads or you know influencer content type ads now again it became popular so uh, naturally the competition copies it and now everybody is doing influencer marketing at large scale in the d2c industry okay so uh, once this is this particular playbook of you know run an ad uh, put one dollar on facebook ads or google ads and then get five dollars back was working for a long time but slowly it the, the the impact is going down it's not profitable uh, like before uh, the cost of advertising is also going up okay so that is why i am advocating uh, on you know owning the customer data owning the potential customer data and one of the uh, best ways to do is start practicing the concept of uh, you know demand generation uh, even in e-commerce so demand generation is a popular uh, term used in the B2B sector, but uh, I think it's high time even for e-commerce demand generation uh, starts happening. Okay, so uh, I've been advocating that you have to run ads and um, preferably start getting customers' email, phone number, uh, you know, name, etc. Uh, uh, with the help of WhatsApp. Okay, I'm a big, big advocate of WhatsApp conversational marketing. And uh, so today I saw an ad by Mama Earth. Okay, and I'm mighty impressed by the way they are approaching this whole own the data concept, own the potential customer data. Okay, so I saw this ad. Uh, so I will take you through the whole journey, how they have devised this ad, and uh, the, the lessons that you should learn from this. It's 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 fascinating, guys. Okay, so uh, in the, in pursuit of you know acquiring customer data. Uh, what they done is they are running this ad saying get onion shampoo worth 349 absolutely free in just three questions okay start survey now so they are asking people to participate in a survey and if they fill the survey they get uh, a free hair oil that's the offer okay interesting isn't it so uh, so basically what they are trying to do here is they are trying to uh, mimic the offline behavior of uh, you know giving out samples if you have gone to any uh, you know big uh, st store big supermarket you will see people uh, you know uh, outside the market with the stall where they give some samples for people to try it out so that uh, you know if they try and if they like it they can end up buying the product next time when they come okay so that same sampling concept they have used and in 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 exchange of that sampling they're also going to collect user data, okay? So this is the ad, uh, as I saw from the uh, Facebook ads library. So if I click on this ad, okay, here is what happens. It takes me to a survey page, okay? So this is a simple survey done using SurveyMonkey. Again, they're using a, 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 a simple survey software to execute this. So it is not rocket science, very simple uh, flow they are, uh, that they have created. So the first question they ask is, which skin concern do you face most often? Okay, uh, pimples, acne, wrinkles, dull skin, dark spots, dry skin, open pores, uh, others. So what they are doing is they are collecting my pain points 
or some specific data which i am concerned about great way to get this data and and in future they can use this to market uh, to me saying that hey if i have selected say dull skin they can say hey you said that you have dull skin and we have a solution for dull skin you should try this right that's the concept um so assume i'm i'm selecting dull skin and then uh, which personal care products are you planning to purchase next okay then again they are trying to map my intent as well okay so they are now giving out the products that they have on their store like shampoo face wash hair oil uh, face serum face cream face scrub others so this others will act as a wonderful you know uh, you know market research data uh, if if at all they are typing anything new and if they see that there is so much there are so many people who are typing that similar kind of product maybe that's uh, that's a seed for the next product that they they can create else whatever is there in this list suppose suppose if i'm selecting face cream okay so now they have the data that i am interested in face cream now moving forward they can reach out to me or via retargeting ads via email via sms via whatsapp Uh, about you know face cream products that they have and they can tell a story around face cream and and create desire in me and they can also club that i have dull skin so dull skin plus face cream now they can build a marketing narrative around you know how, how a face cream can can help dull skin okay so see how smartly they are collecting data um then uh, they are asking my age bracket okay so which is my age bracket here so again this is also acts as a good uh, you know data point for future marketing so i'm selecting this and click on done okay moment i click on done it redirects to me to the mama earth website where they are giving me this product for free so here again what is happening is um, if i click on add to cart so i'm taken to this uh, payment page and here uh, it it clearly says that uh, you know this is free but shipping charge they are charging me rupees 99 and which they again say once you get the product once you collect the product delivery we will do a cash back of rupees 99 okay so this is how they are ensuring that uh, they are getting people to you know pay a, a small amount of money so that there is skin in the game and they are not collecting a bunch of free loaders okay Uh, so they are asking me to pay rupees ninety nine, and once I get the delivery, they will do a cash back. Okay, very smart move. So again, the the catch behind this, you know, giving this rupees ninety nine cash back on delivery, this also adds as a uh, address verification, right? So only when you you know get the product, only when you receive the product, uh, you are going to get this uh, money back. which means you are also you are indirectly verifying your address okay so now with with this one campaign they collected the customer's name email phone number address and the problem that they are facing and the product they want to purchase next and the age group okay and the cost of this yes it is around 349 rupees probably they would have uh, spent another uh, say 100 rupees on ads for to, to acquire this customer i'm i'm go to this uh, cost us less because it's a, it, it's a free thing so definitely uh, it's not going to be as expensive as directly selling a 349 rupees product okay maybe they can get it for even a, even cheaper price okay so probably uh, a 400 rupees or a 500 rupees uh, investment okay that they are making to collect customers name email phone number and address okay so now you have to understand that a brand like mama earth is openly spending approximately 500 bucks to acquire customers data okay In, uh, so this uh, how they will leverage yes now that they have all this data now they will devise the marketing uh, messaging after the purchase it's like a sampling after this they will keep uh, you know uh, reaching out to probably the customer via email sms whatsapp and even the retargeting ads so they can now start nurturing them and and and, and uh, you know getting on board a lot more people uh, into the system okay so demand generation via uh, you know ads is happening in e-commerce okay that's my point and definitely whatsapp can play a very big role in the post purchase uh, you know journey from here now that this information is there 
now they can now devise the marketing messaging and start notifying the customer via whatsapp right they can send videos on whatsapp they can send you know uh, transformation stories testimonials on whatsapp about you know using a face cream and overcoming you know dull skin so that is my problem so that's what they can now customize in their messaging and communicate to me via whatsapp so it's getting interesting the space that uh, companies are now investing in demand generation and data collection okay so one last thing if you found value in this video do check out the alpha marketer network community it's a premium community where uh, e-commerce founders uh, ad agencies performance marketers email marketers copywriters everybody comes together to discuss about conversational marketing and and how they can grow e-commerce businesses using the power of conversations and marketing strategies okay it's it's a fun community to be a part of and we are growing very fast so do check it out it's a fantastic chance to network and you know grow your business with the power of community okay thank you so much and i will see you inside the community the link to join the community will be there in the comments or in the description somewhere do check it out and um, see you there bye bye